guys so today is tuesday we started this vlog i went to lux in the morning i didn't show you guys the new nails so these are the nails that i had done we went with yellow plus this very pretty uh floral artwork um and, um so for my feet i'm good let me just show you guys what i have done for my feet for my feet we did black um i had them done by maggie this time i'm yet to put the carpet back my bed is not made because yeah i left early in the morning my appointment was at 7 a.m for luck so i left my son asleep in bed so that's why my bed is not made and then i i'm not even worried about that um i've not been feeling well Yesterday I went to hospital, apparently I have a bacterial infection also. My hubby has a bacterial infection also. My son has a flu-like symptoms. And my nanny also has a flu, but my nanny, yeah, I'm a pona. So it just left me and my hubby. Actually, it's just left me. Um, everyone else, it started with my nanny, then my son, then my husband, then me. So I'm the only one who's left who's a bit low. I have my meds here i have antibiotics that are making me feel sicker than i am anyway so i'm home i want to i've just showered i want to go chill with my son he's asleep in the sitting room so i'll just wait for him to wake up as i catch up on monk i'm watching monk it's very therapeutic so that's what i'm watching right now i actually removed my lashes guys i removed them um yesterday night yesterday night i couldn't sleep because i was feeling nauseated so i woke up and started removing the lashes i used oil and q-tip and face towel and they were gone so i need to make an appointment for this hair i need to remove this hair i think i'll do it in two stages first go have it removed it washed treated then figure out what i want to do my next hairstyle and then i'm still figuring out if i'll do the lashes depending on how i will be feeling i'll see if i'll book an appointment for lashes because this is easter weekend and honestly i'm not planning to do anything this easter weekend i just want to chill with family so um the other thing i want to do is meal prep i want to make my breakfast stuff my yeah, I just need to do a bit of meal prep because I don't want to eat takeout um, this entire week. So yeah, that's it. That's the update. That's the intro for the vlog. So I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Let me go relax. Um, I'm actually having a headache because I haven't taken water. No water here. So let me just go relax and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Close to the sun Cause you're gonna get burned Hey 
hey guys so this is the hairstyle i went with i had it done at uh, beauty space i think i'd say that um hey guys um so today is when is today today is um wednesday <laughs> um so i just had my uh, evening shower so I just want to oil up, then oil my hair. I was thinking also to do my um, eyebrows because they are a bit um, uneven. I'm wearing my very oversized Rick and Morty t-shirt. I love this t-shirt so much. So I've been using a cab for the past, I don't know, for the past, uh, this was a holiday. So it was an Easter holiday. So just trying to arrange this place so from wednesday last week i didn't use my car because um i was not feeling well from wednesday when i left the salon i was when i left the salon i was okay i got to the house at around nine but i didn't uh use my car the next day the next day is when now i was admitted in hospital i was feeling so unwell i had a fever of 39.5 so i was just admitted for the afternoon i didn't even sleep overnight um they just wanted me to get iv meds and uh to rest i hadn't eaten the entire day i was actually eating in hospital guys <laughs> Uh, my first meal I was I had it once the IV kicked in is when now I was able to eat my first meal so that's when I ate my first meal in hospital so I'm applying my Chanel because I want to smell amazing so yeah um, I got out of the hospital on uh, that was Thursday now Friday I didn't go anywhere the entire day I was in the house Saturday exactly in the house the entire day uh, on Sunday I went to my uh, grandma's place on my uh, hubby side um, so that was in the afternoon at least so I left the house in the afternoon by then I was feeling well I could even eat because I had lost my appetite completely completely so uh, Monday uh, same thing we didn't leave the house again uh, now come Tuesday, I'm going to work. I was feeling a bit better, so I decided to go to work. So I'm going to start my car, and one, it locks itself. Um, normally, when I leave the keys inside, it never locks. So this time, it decided to lock, uh, and the keys were inside. But the good thing is, I, I always have spare keys. Mm -hmm. So then, then I knew there was something really wrong. <laughs> um, I'm applying the pharmacy rich almond uh, body oil so there and then I knew the sun oh, this is a lotion sorry I knew something was off so come my car battery had died and it's not because that I have not used the car for five days it just this lotion is nice I've never used it it just died um it, the car battery had not lived its life so I died. So I decided to take an Uber and go to work. But I've been Ubering all the time, as in till yesterday and today I've just been taking an Uber and coming home with my hubby uh, if we are living at the same time. But yeah, it's been really fun using an Uber because <laughs> I'm not the one who's driving. But the thing is with Ubers, you can't, um, you can't do what? You can't um, divert and go for errands and stuff. So um, I'm waiting for my hubby to bring my new car battery. And then um, tomorrow I need to go to the car wash after work. I have to go to the car wash. That car has not been washed in days. I think it's almost clocking um, two weeks without being washed. So I need to wash it and have it restocked. So that is a plan for tomorrow. For now, I want to go. I'm waiting for my for delivery so that I can uh, make some overnight oats and also some salad to carry for lunch tomorrow. Um, 
when you get sick I, I don't know, I think it's just eating out that's making me sick so I want to be intentional about carrying food from home and I know it's very difficult because it's you come from work and you're all tired and lazy you don't have time to you know make a breakfast that you want to carry to work um, unless you know you just maybe like carry bread and food that was uh, left over from supper but now normally in the morning I usually gauge the food that was left uh, behind for supper and I'm saying this will just be enough for my nanny to eat for that for lunch and since he's dealing with my son um, I don't want to leave him uh, to leave her without food uh, so that she has to now start cooking and dealing with my son she has to cook lunch and also supper so sometimes I just leave her that food to eat so now I want and I keep telling her to make a lot of food but she doesn't make a lot of food because <laughs> sometimes she will actually make that uh, a lot of food and then us we won't carry so she usually feels like we are wasting food sometimes so I don't blame her on that. So I just want to go make salad. I'm waiting for my for delivery then I go make salad. But before that I have some amazing things that I want to unbox with you guys. But um, I'm trying to look at my eyebrow situation but I'll deal with that. Let me just unbox these things because there are so many and I want to and I want to clear this place so i went to i received a package from from uh what is this place called oh, sorry guys ask me where i got my phone case from from my last video and i don't think i answered you guys it's still the same shop savvy accessories so that's why i always get like my my um phone cases most of them so i got a package from the Miss german cosmetic shop there are actually two of them so she gave me like an easter package setup and i'm opening it today because like i said i've not been anywhere near being okay so this package i'm seeing it just has shower gels three of them and she got me oh this one that i said smells really amazing the day i used it and it smells really really amazing love this uh shower gel someone actually wrote down how to pronounce that um and then there's baglia men natural escape this one and then there is buttermilk and lemon of course and then the other package this is now how the easter package came looking like Really, really and I'm seeing chocolate. Oh, so, some gift here, guys. Oh, it's Easter bunny decorations. Oh, this is cute. Looks like something that will really look cute on a bookshelf. Eh? I need to order that bookshelf that I was telling you guys about and then there is this Easter eggs chocolate oh, this is so nice oh. <laughs> and then there's more chocolate the chocolate I love this uh, packet of chocolate that she usually gives me and then let me just remove this one it's making noise so this is how the package looks like it comes in this really cute basket there's another easter egg deco here i'm seeing <laughs> but this one looks like more of a christmas uh deco or somewhere something you can hang somewhere i never decorate for easter but i see people usually creating very cute easter baskets for easter and then there's balea coconut clip coconut kiss lip balm oh, this is nice it looks like it smells amazing so that's how it looks. I'm hoping these things are focusing. And then there is Isana Men uh, Fresh Herbs. I don't know if this one is the one my hubby was saying was really nice. There's a shower gel he was saying that was really, really nice for uh, Isana Men. And then there's the Balea Hand Wash, the Ginger and Lemon. Oh, I've never taken, I, I've never seen, I've never had the scent for ginger and lemon do you know it smells like dawa kabisa 
it actually smells like the whole like ginger and lemon that Kadawa usually buy from Java. That's how it smells the hand wash. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> and then there is shower gel, Abalia shower gel, Magic Winter Time. This is a new one. This one is a new scent. So let me see. The thing with Balea products is um, they have really nice scents but some of them are limited editions. Like you remember the other one that we really looked for and Kumba it's a limited edition one. It smells like biscuits. Like cookies. Mm, this is nice. Mm. So this is the new shower gel she gifted me and then there's a hand cream here buttermilk and lemon hand cream it's been a while since she added one of these in the packages so i'm really glad to have that and then my favorite scrub guys if you've not tried out this body scrub let me yeah this one please go and try it out it's really nice it has an oil base in it so it doesn't leave you dry and um stretch you know the way your skin is usually sometimes so dry it feels so stretched out it does it leaves you oily and moisturized and yet you have exfoliated your body at the same time it also smells really really amazing if you've not tried out this body scrub, I highly, highly recommend. And then the other thing she added was this cute car candle. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. I think this one I'm going to put it on my nightstand. This is so cute. Aww. So yeah, that's the package that I got from, and I have a free basket here. Um, I actually know what I want to do with this one. I've been looking for something of the same size to put our keys in. So yeah, um, this one is going straight to the kitchen counter to put our keys in. <laughs> we have so many keys. Khaki, we'll be combining khakis and everyone's house keys. Ugh, it's just a huge mess over there. So thank you. That one, I know where exactly where it's going right now. And then I... I got bored on Monday on um on uh, yeah on Monday no not Monday on Sunday and I decided to order some self care stuff from Kafo. I just wanted to try out new scents and you know just try out new uh, things that I've not used before. Sorry. I ordered through the Kafo app and they delivered so the first things that I got, some of these things are just refills of things that I didn't have or I needed to replace. I needed to replace my uh, loofah, the one with this Kalong handle for scrapping my back. So I got this one uh, in blue and then I also got another loofah. Um, I've not used loofahs in a while. I usually use the bath nets which I didn't find either up. I couldn't find them. I think they were out of stock. I restocked on sanitary uh, towels and tampons and then and then I got a couple of uh, bar soaps that I wanted to try out, new ones that I wanted to try out and others I'm just restocking. For example, it's been a while since I used the Dettol Eventon uh, antibacterial soap so I really needed this. I love using this for my face and then I stumbled upon the grounded uh, body bars so I bought the detoxifying body bar the peppermint one it has activated bamboo charcoal and also there is the calming uh, body bar which is lavender with avocado and coconut milk so this one is empty because it's right now um, in the bathroom I love this if you love peppermint if you love the scent of peppermint you will love this soap you will love this beauty bar soap my son today naskia amekuwa too a wild one so i'm so sure even right now niki to too dangerous he's crying for naskia mekatalia kisu i don't mean not kisu kisu like the bread not the bread knife the the butter knife yo ndio kamekatalia the whole the whole day anyway um there's also this one the grounded uh, lavender one i've not tried out this yet it's going to be the next one 
then um, I don't know why this lax is open or probably Juzimeka Hapa for long. Then I stumbled upon this magical spell lax beauty bar soap that I wanted to try out. And there's also this uh, creamy perfection one. This one I've already tried it out, but I wanted to try out this purple one. It looks like it smells really amazing. And then I also restocked on Dove products. It's been a while since I used Dove products, so I just saw them on the app and I had to pick. So the first one is the Sheer Butter and Warm Vanilla Body Wash. Um, this is the one that I normally use. Love this one. <coughs> Second one is the um, Pampering Care Body Lotion. Um, so I just I had missed using Dove products, so I had to grab um a body wash and a lotion. And then I also got, uh, I restocked on this uh, Pearl and Beauty Nivea Dio Spray. Um, I have the, the black one. Um, they, have, they have somehow a different scent. <laughs> this thing reminds me of, it reminds me of something. Either uh, my days in Kessel. It just reminds me of something, this cardio thing. And then I also restocked on um, Listerine uh, mouthwash. I also added, let me show you the hair products that I got. I got a couple of hair products. The first one was the TCB Argan Oil. So this one is the one that I usually use. <coughs> oh, the deal. I think I've spread it too close to my face. And then there is the coconut oil one. I didn't know those are TCB coconut uh, hair oil. So I had to grab one to try it out. I love using body oils than, not body hair oils um, than food. Because they're easier to apply on. Especially if you have like braids on or uh, use or something. So I also restocked on the anti-dandruff uh, hair food with coconut oil and menthol. I love TCB products. So I also restocked on this cream on uh, cream of nature hair mask. I think um, for those who've been watching me, you've seen me using this before. The last time I used this hair mask, my hair really became puffy. So I need to be very intentional with using these hair masks because I have the cream of nature shampoos, conditioners and I also have a hair mask in a bottle and I also have the leave-in products and hair food for cream of nature I have the entire line so I need to start using those products because I've realized they're the ones that work perfectly with my hair whenever I wash my hair at home and I use the cream of nature products then I go have it plated it's usually when I remove the braids my hair is usually very healthy and very just healthy and a lot yeah so i need to really go back to using this one so i had to restock on the hair mask it was over then i got the cream of nature argan oil uh from morocco so this one is just for styling and shiny it's a forming mousse i want to try this out on my braids so yeah there's that and then i also got some wipes i want to do a car restock video so once um i sort out the car issue i want to go to the car wash like i said then i want to restock the entire car again i want to get like cutleries inside that car i want to get uh wipes tissues literally everything that i keep forgetting and needs to go to that car i also want to pack things in travel kits so i may pass by mini so and get the travel kits because i have full bottles and I need to reduce the amount of things that I carry around. So I want to transfer things in a travel kit um, so that they can fit perfectly in the car. So hopefully I'll be able to do that tomorrow. If I don't, it will be up in my next video. So I got the... I saw people raving about these uh, wet wipes. The fruit and passion ones that they smell really amazing. So these ones I got it from my handbag. The only thing is they're not antibacterial. Um, and then there is this one, the bubble gum from Hanan. They're also mini wipes. They're bubble gum scented. Also, so people really love um, this too. The only thing 
and not antibacterial wipes. That's the only uh, thing. And then I got facial cleansing wipes, the IU ones. So these ones are for putting in my handbag. And the makeup removal wipes from Velvex. <coughs> Velvex. So I have one in my drawer and now this one I want to put it in my handbag. So yeah, the last thing that I got from Kapo was a simple hydrating sheet mask. So I really want to try this out. So this one is um, just a hydrating one actually. It's for dry and sensitive skin. So this is the one I want to try it out. So let me just sort this whole mess here and then yeah that is it let me I'm, I'm still waiting let me see where the progress of my delivery um so it's saying it's saying um order is arriving today at 6 24 oh, i can't see too bright so it's saying my order is arriving today at 6 24 so let me just uh, wait for that one then i can go to the kitchen in the meantime let me organize this and then i will catch up with you guys later so these are the kittens i was telling you guys about in my last vlog I have eight two brown two black two gray two mixed colors um, so I think I'm going to be giving them out in sets, not one. So in case you're interested, uh, DM me or email me. Uh, they're still feeding from the mom. They're still breastfeeding. So I'm not going to be giving them now. Now I'm waiting for them to start eating pellets. Then uh, I can give them out. So many things that I so before we get started, I know the video is a bit dark, it's a bit late, it's almost 7pm. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys where you can get some nice pre-cooked samosas. So I got some chicken spicy samosas, these are 10. I got some beef non-spicy samosas, as you can see they're all pre-cooked. And I also got chicken non-spicy samosas and beef spicy samosa so i usually get all these from queen's yummy uh, treats and i also ordered some donuts so here are the donuts that i got uh, i got only six of them three are coconuts um i don't know if i can three are coconut um the rest are assorted with chocolate toppings so let me just open but first let me put these ones inside uh, my fridge i'm so happy that i have a fridge that can fit all these things my other fridge literally when i would have put these ones if i would have put these ones in that fridge that's it that fridge in your image but this one i have i still have a lot of space so i'm just going to put these ones in the fridge because i know um they will last fresh for long um this fridge has a very uh, amazing system where it maintains an optimum temperature that keeps you good stuff fresh for long so let me just put this one in I know people will be picking them up to make for breakfast. So this one, let me just put some here. I have already uh, washed my lettuce. I just want to spin them to dry them, and then I can start with the with the salad. Then I go to the chicken. Then I go to the breakfast spots. A lot 
out of water. <laughs> no, you can see. So for my salad, I'm just adding um, carrots, cucumber, and cherry tomatoes. So actually, let me actually wash all these. Let me wash the tomatoes. So I'm dividing the salad into two portions. There's a big dish and the small one. The small one is what I'm carrying to I'm carrying to work tomorrow for lunch. So the big one we ended up making salad um I think two days later with pilau. So I just put the lettuce, um, carrots, cucumber and cherry tomatoes. I didn't put any salad dressing on the big one. So we just put it the day that we were actually eating it. Um, so the small one, but I put salad dressing on the small one. I put it in the fridge because I was consuming it the next day. The leftover lettuce, I just put it on a dish. I'm yet to use the leftover lettuce. I'll use it probably tomorrow um i shouldn't have washed the entire lettuce probably just half of it so yeah um after this i prepped the chicken the chicken i just seasoned it with um black pepper and salt and put it in the griddler to is it called a griddler yeah? to <laughs> to um cook I've been waiting for excuses I don't really wanna lose this Been lying to myself Girl, you know that I've been through this Waves of crashing scars and bruises I don't think that I can do this I don't think that I can do this When these waves come crashing down Yeah, my feet won't reach the ground I look 
for answers, I ain't finding loads With me and you, you know I gave it all my life and soul We drifted off and still it's left me with these giant holes Nothing to fill the gap and all I feel is highs and lows I pour a drink and sit and wonder why we rivaled loads See, I was man enough to leave, you gave the final blows There's many fish out in the sea, I guess what I suppose I think it's time I let, let it go Please come crashing down So um, I don't know where I've been, this is the time I'm discovering overnight uh, oats and I love them so much. So I'm using half a cup of oats, I'll show you the brand of oats that I'm using later and also half a cup of milk, just normal milk. Uh, you can use almond and sweetened milk if you want to go the way healthier way. Uh, I don't like almond milk so I just used fresh milk and then I added, I think this was just like one teaspoon. Of uh, cinnamon and I added two spoons two tablespoons of Greek yogurt I used vanilla Greek yogurt not plain one because I wanted it to be a bit sweet and I love I love this honestly I'll be making more of this till I get tired of them I don't know where I've been with this uh, I wish I discovered this earlier so I just mixed it really really well and then I'm going to cover it Smells amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in the fridge. This is the yogurt that I used. Um, I'm going to cut this um, and put them also in the fridge so that in the morning it's just to put them on top of this plus some bananas i'm going tell me you have a son plus some bananas i'm going to slice them and put them on top of this and then this is the oats that i used it's gluten-free regular road oats so this is the oats that i used so this is the chicken i'm going to put on top of my salad i split it into half so that it can cook really really well <laughs> On the inside so i'm just waiting for it to finish cooking then i'll but i'll put it separate and put it on top of the salad now so here is my lunch and breakfast for tomorrow <laughs> Here are my strawberries for the toppings cut out. So I'm also going to put these ones in the fridge now. Then I'll just add a banana on top in the morning. So this is the next morning I've removed the oats and added the strawberry. So I tasted them and I thought they needed a little bit of sugar. So I added raisins on top instead but you can add honey. I also uh, put the chicken on top of the salad and I also carried one coconut donut to eat uh, for my 10 o'clock tea. It was only you and me on the phone at every opportunity. I used to know your number fluently. Now you see my face, you're thinking, who is he? You want the truth is deep. I have these um, lens cleaners that I got from Miniso a while back. They come um, 
they come in a box i'll show you guys when i get go back to the house so i just wanted to uh, plug you guys they're really really nice in washing your in cleaning your screens and phones and laptops yeah so i want to clean my laptop and then yeah i'm still i'm actually eating my breakfast as we speak because no one losing sleep i'm laying in this bed alone i'm never running back to you it's better if it's left alone i feel the waves are crashing down i tilt my head and flow i think it's best to let it go crashing down yeah my feet won't reach the ground So today I want to try out the Motheiga tea that I got as a gift from Sharon Mondia and I love it. It's like um it's like green tea, it tastes like green tea. It's like a healthier version of tea. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's just so uh, soothing and so lovely. So this is the tea that I'm talking about. I just added um hot water and I had it with my donut. So I just stopped by House of Leather to try and pick up a few things that I needed to organize this car and my handbag. So I bounced on literally almost everything. So I have to go to Miniso. I was avoiding to go to Miniso, but I found just found a few things, very small, small things that I needed. So let me go. Uh, to the car wash first this car is really dirty extremely dirty it hasn't been washed in two weeks so i want to go have it washed then i pass by mini so then head home um i had missed driving my own car and just being able to do errands yeah because now with uh with a cab you can't keep stop and doing errands so let me charge this one doesn't have any charge and I will see you guys at the couch Good morning guys, so I'm heading to to Rivers and I need to get another mall to be going to. Next time I'll go to Village Market. So, so I'm heading to, to Rivers because I want to go to Optica, I want to go to Portal and I want to go to Miniso. I want to go to Miniso. Um, 
total i need to get stuff for my son i need to get him a toothpaste i think it's time because usually just use warm water and a toothbrush but i need to get a tooth okay where has my husband gone oh he was going the other way is he um it's time we get him like a uh, toothpaste for kids and then I um, also need to get his Avino products I'm, I'm getting I'm finding it hard to shift from Avino products <laughs> but I think I need to it's about time I do um, so I'm heading to Miniso so that I can get stuff to organize this car I want to come back disinfect it uh, and then uh, uh, reorganize it because it's chaotic right <coughs> right now and then I go get contacts and contact solution. I don't have these ones are, I think they've expired actually. And then I need to go get, um, this time I've used the contacts very badly. Um, I'm supposed to use one pair per month. Uh, and I think I've used all three in one month. So yeah, this time I've used them badly. So I want to also go to, yeah, I think that's it. Those are my errands for today. Hello, madam. I'm sorry. Permission to check. Yes. Santi. Dafikia. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like a green uh, clear. I'm gonna do uh, yeah, a solution. E optically. It's how much? The big one? The sound. And the small one? So uh, the big one. So I'm done with Optica. Next I move to Portal Pharmacy to grab some stuff that I needed for my son, some of you know, products, a shower and lotion and paper thin and toothpaste. Uh -huh. Simmer down and mess me up, tripping like I'm Jimmy at what's dark. Toothpaste, yaka baby. Kako 15 months. 15 months. Mm. Zero to two years. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Naya ki solo hai na shida. Hai na shida. Atameza. Hmm. Be good.
Next, I went to Minnesota to get some stuff I needed to organize my car. Um, I also stumbled upon these really cute uh, keyboards that they have restocked. I love colorful keyboards. So I ended up getting a few things that I needed. Um, the only thing I didn't get was clear uh, makeup bags. I'm looking for clear makeup bags to organize my handbag. But I'll do a haul for you guys uh, later on to just show you guys some of the things that I got from Without a hand, it's make, it's make a break When you never did, stand a chance Tell me stop, don't you tell a soul how you actually feel If you do, then they'll cut you right at the heel And it hurts No one can save you It's all on your mind to change to And baby, you can really try if you come your way Nobody will help if you're flying too close to the sun Cause you're gonna get burned Hey guys, I've been trying to look for an angle to put you guys for the last, I think, 30 minutes and I still can't get it. Anyway, this is my uh, console that is reflect reflecting there, so don't mind that. So I'm back home and I want to do a quick haul. Then I'm going to disinfect this entire car and just wipe in those two spaces that they never get to at the car wash. So I have everything that I need here. So the plan is to one, reduce the emergency bag to this. I want to reduce and put everything here. And I'm using this bag because I damaged it at, uh, some time back. So it has chipped here. So I usually can't carry it around. So I need something else. So the plan is to reduce that huge emergency bag on my boots to fit here because um, it's taking up a lot of space which um, I need to put like groceries when I go to the supermarket and stuff and then I just remain with the white basket so the white basket I'll put now the blanket, the sweater, the sandals and now this bag so for the things that are in the middle here I want them to fit here and I want to, I'm waiting for uh, Sorry, that's my neighbor's dog. I'm waiting for a hook. Uh, these ones that go on the headrest. This this place where you hook here. I'm waiting for it to come so, so that I can hook this bag there. So yeah, that is the plan of how I want to organize this car. Because I want this space to be empty for like putting um, my phone, my keys and stuff because i usually never have a place for those so i need this space to be empty so let me do a quick call starting with the mini so one 
Um, so I got, oh, this is unrelated to the car, I got this dish to be putting my overnight oats. Last time, okay, the, the dish actually works, but sometimes I usually want to carry like eggs or meat in that car dish. So I got this one for my overnight oats. I loved those overnight oats, so I had to get this car jar. So I'll just be filling it with oats, and then uh, in the morning I put toppings on top, and it's so much easier to carry around. So that one is unrelated to that i got a smaller spray bottle because the one that i have is really big so this one i want to put surgical spirit because um the sea the sea word is kind of creeping back <laughs> so i need to put a surgical spirit uh in here uh, to put in the car and then to replace my to replace my towel my really huge towel that is in the bag that's uh, on the boot actually that is what is occupying the most amount of space i got this portable travel bath towel so there is this one that i got from me so this and this one is measuring 60 by 80 it's really small but i never actually use that towel. i've never used it and the weird thing is when now i replace it with this is when i'll need to use it <laughs> to use it so anyway at least i'll have a towel something to wipe myself uh, just in case and then i also got the multi-purpose travel towel so this is a smaller one so this one is 30 by 60 centimeters this one so this one will be like a face towel ish so i have this two and then i got a uh, travel toilet seat covers so these ones i actually want to put in my handbag but i thought i try i just plug you guys on them i've been really looking for these uh seat covers so this is how they look i don't know if you can see let me just yeah this is how they look you put them on the toilet right upside down <laughs> i don't know yeah uh, so you just put them on the toilet in case you're using a public toilet once you've disinfected it you can use this and then you throw it in the in the bin so they come in such as they come how many of them don't tell me they're just six or is it nine imagine they're just nine packs <laughs> anyway it's still better than nothing then i got um a makeup removal wipes so this one is for the car this and then this one is a facial cleansing wipe i saw they have two flavors there's this one that's uh argan argan oil argan oil or argan with that one and then there's one that is tea tree is it tea tree yeah i think tea tree oil yeah and I've got my lips are dry Yeah, there's the tea tree and there's this one so i just picked the argan oil one so these are facial cleansing wipes so these ones are for putting in the car and then i got some q-tips also for the car you'd be shocked at how many things you actually need in your car when you're just moving around and i move around a lot with my car then i got a car charger a quick car charger i've never had one of these so i got uh, a white one i'm hoping it works <laughs> i'm really hoping it works and i wish i i don't know is there a way of even trying out that then i got this um mirror portable mirror did i tell you guys i don't oh i have this mirror here but the, most of the times i'm usually like doing my eyebrows in the car i find myself doing my eyebrows in the car or my makeup in the car a lot uh, when i need uh, to maybe go for a event so i thought this size is just perfect uh to have it in the car and this one yeah also got it from me so then i switched to this one i decided to get this comb it's a comb and it's also a brush but it's foldable you can fold it um so the comb part will enter this brush side i decided to get this other one because this other one literally takes up the entire space i have here this one so i need to switch to this one because this one will fit perfectly in that car bag i showed you guys before so i decided to switch to that one and then this is one thing that really amazed me so this is a roll of cotton towels so this is a roll of cotton towels that I want to put in the car. It looks like tissue. 
so this is how it looks it looks like tissue but it's actually cotton towels so i want to put these ones in the car to just be disinfecting and uh, wiping down surfaces in the car very quickly with the surgical spirit that i have so i thought this is such a good idea to have in the car and I'm, I'm, i don't think i'm going to remove it in this i don't think i'm going to remove it in this bag just to keep it clean and stuff so this one uh, will remain I'll, I'll show you guys where i'll hang it and then for me i never i rarely carry people uh, in my passenger seat so you might see me putting a basket in the passenger seat but it's because uh, i want it to be easily accessible one and two i rarely carry anyone in this car if i'm going somewhere with like maybe my sisters and by then i'll just take the uh, basket to the boat it's it's not it's not rocket science honestly and then but i need it accessible here than in the boat because i usually keep it in the boat and it doesn't make any sense and then i also got this cutlery set i told you guys i need a cutlery set in the car um because sometimes you might find yourself somewhere and you need to grab a bite to eat so this one just has a fork and a knife but you can get ones that have that have um chopstick that have a knife no this is a fork and a spoon so you can get ones that have a knife and a and a what and a spoon a knife and a fork sorry and then i got these two tiny bottles to travel pack bottles these are the ones they had this time i thought i'll get like a variety of them so one i'm going to put a shower gel the other one i'm going to put um either lotion or I was thinking lotion or nini my family wash but where will oh, obviously you've been wondering some things any anyway, i'll figure that out um so i just want to go wash them first so as i disinfect the cars it was in a dry then i can uh, i can proceed with organizing the car the good thing is today is such a like a cool day it's been raining the entire day so um oh gosh my camera has decided to heat up so just when i'm saying today it's a cool day and it's uh, easier to vlog inside the car my camera heats up <laughs> anyway <coughs> I, I get there's still a bit of sun um so i want to go wash those ones and then i will I will be done then the other thing that i got got a pill box but that one i've already washed it it's inside the house i'm going to show you guys so i just want to put painkillers and my supplement in that pill box and then i will i'll show you guys i wanted to also organize my handbag but i didn't get the two pouches that i needed so that one will have to wait so i got a fan a manual fan because um i thought getting these other chargeable ones um i'll keep forgetting it inside the house because once it goes to be charged getting it back in the car will be another story i know myself i always forget that and then i got some hair bands i got two of them for the life of me i don't know where my black hair bands is i don't even have one so i need um to put like two inside the car starting to drizzle and then i also got some floss in a car pack I, I was torn between toothpick or floss but i just decided to get because toothpicks are not in like a nice uh, car pack so i just decided to get the floss one um so this one will be for the car again i don't know how many people feel me when you're looking for a toothpick inside your car and you can't get a toothpick in your car or a fork so this is what i was trying to tell you guys i just need that white basket this one has to go so and also this one now will be going on the front seat so i need to sort this out i, I don't think i need my orthopedic sock anymore so let me just go inside and sort this and clear that basket and then we can start organizing 
so in my spare emergency bag ended up packing one bra one biker i rolled them in the scarf because <laughs> i do want to add another bag in there i packed one dress uh, the only thing i didn't pack here were pjs and socks i'm going to add later on i also packed lotion shower gel a uh, face towel what else did i pack uh, the rest i'll show you guys later but it, i just needed a very minimal emergency bag uh, so this one works perfectly for me um i'll show you guys how the disposable the toilet seat look like this is how they look like so i have four of those let me just show you as i pack in this bag now so in this bag i have a hand cream this one also from mini so it comes a pack and then i have these two tiny um testers for perfume so this is nasio rodriguez for her i have two of them i thought they'll be just enough for like an emergency honestly so i got two of them i got a lipstick from flory roberts a lip balm from isana this one and then i have a tweezer oh this one is the wrong one i need to get other cream let me apply this cream hand cream my hands are ashy <laughs> i think it's from all the surgical spirit i've touched cream initially i had the big one but like i said i don't want to carry so many things here mm. so i have so many things at the front seat um that i'm mm. going to return back to the house and i'll figure out who i'll give them to so there's that one so there's the toilet seats and then the rest i'm going to put in my handbag then there are these lens cleaners mm. to clean my radio you guys know i got the whole uh, huge screen radio so i actually use this a lot for my radio and my phone if i need to vlog in the car i'll have to wipe my phone screen with this one so these ones are eight of them those ones are going to be enough the rest i'm going to return inside the house i don't need that much and then hair comb stroke brush um this is a torch now this one i don't think i need to put it inside the inside the uh to put it where inside this bag i'm going to put it on that space and then <coughs> i have the floss dental floss go in here what else? Um, gum. They usually are usually a place I usually put the gum. So you can see how these things have actually reduced significantly. Cotton pads. Also going here inside. And then the face wipes, the wipes and stuff i'm going to put them in this basket now you see why i needed this basket i'm just going to put the ones there um same to the fun i'm going to put it in this basket uh, same to the mirror i think i'm going to remove it from it is the mirror it's actually a pretty good size so this one will also go in the basket so my basket is uh ready yeah um i think i'm going to get something to like cover it on top but i, I like it that accessible so let me see how much dust it will get first <laughs> but at least the things that are um hygiene stuff are protected in bugs so i have this two my neighbor's dog and i have these two hair buns so i'm just going to put one there on the gear box um it's easily accessible and one actually here on this bag in case i need to shower somewhere and i need to tie my hair and then <coughs> this cutlery set is what now i'm wondering where to put it so let me connect this and then refill this tissue place you see where i keep my standards now 
in this tissue place so i need to refill this tissue um organizes it's so very convenient highly highly recommending getting this because you just have to come here and pull whatever tissue you want so let me uh, refill it with this ones here and then uh, connect this one and then uh, i'll be back so i am done um this is how the basket look like uh, emergency bag towels the cotton towels wipes and yeah i have sandals tucked in behind this i put sandals there um so that they just don't move around a lot and then i've restocked this tissue area um so the middle part oh yeah it works the car pot thing works perfectly so i've added also a cable there um so this is where i'm keeping my cutlery my spare specs i usually keep my old ribbon uh specs inside the car in case i lose a contact and i'm driving um i need emergency specs and then the torch sorry let me just get in Oh, and then the torch is also there um, I'm thinking of looking for a better place for this cutlery set I think I'm just going to keep it here yeah it fits perfectly there here I just have the specs and the torch the charger I also put a gum here and a lip balm I usually use this section a lot a lot so actually this is where I keep my phone so I can keep those these two here so i have to move them up there yeah so now i have space for my phone i can even throw my keys on top of there but i'm so glad this charger works i've been looking for a car charger for long so here um i have my what are they called? my shades i'm waiting for that thing to come and then i always keep my cup holders empty because i use them a lot i'm always carrying tea and water or tea uh two thermoses for water and then i put the spray bottle with this with surgical spirit by my door um that's the first thing i usually use when i enter the car so um i need it there urgently <laughs> And then in the back seat, I have an extra shawl and sweater. It's a cold season, so I'm always carrying those two around, a shawl and a sweater. The jacket is my friend's. She left it in my car. I keep forgetting to take it back to her, so I always carry a pair of heels in my car. So I have those green ones there, plus I have flat uh, shoes in my boot. So yeah, that's it. That's how I have reorganize my car my boot is empty right now it only has the speaker so this is what i got from optica i got another um contact solution this one is almost over and then i restocked all contacts i got green ones and sorry i got clear ones and green ones this time i have brown ones on so that's why I didn't get brown. I'll get brown later. So let me show you guys what I got for my son. So for my son, I restocked on the pepper thin um, diaper cream. We use this a lot. And then this is the toothbrush toothpaste I got for him. This is Aqua Fresh Milk Teeth. Uh, it's zero to two years. He's currently fifteen months, so this is perfect for him. Even if he swallows, it's still okay for him and then i've switched him to baby dove uh, lotion it has also the lavender like calming calming uh, it's a calm, calm, calming line for the dove so i've switched him to lotion to dove because it's cheaper than Avino. you know i think right now he's he's okay um using any other baby He's okay using any other baby uh, lotion or moisturizer so we want to try out this dab one and then this one is what i can't compromise on the avino baby uh, bath because of this wait where is it because yeah because of this tear free this thing is a lifesaver when it comes to bath time i had switched him to 
um, the bar soaps but they really irritated his eyes so we are this is one thing I can't compromise on the Avino baby tear free bath so this is what I got for my son so I'm having I want to have a snack <laughs> I'm having um, nachos with the dip I'm going to show you guys the, the dip that I usually get I get it from Carcon really nice it's my sister who introduced me to my son. so this is what i'm snacking on i need some energy before i hit the shower so I have my coke drink there. It's a perfect junk I was looking for. I was actually looking for junk to eat. So this is going to be my second read. I finished lessons in chemistry. I've put it on my bedside um, up. So I'm remaining with two more books uh, uh, plus this one three so that i can finish my match reads guys i've never been this behind so i'm hoping i'll be able to finish all those by maybe I, I want to focus and finish them by end of next week then for my april reads i'm going to get i'm just going to i think add one or two books for my april read um and then now hopefully by May we'll have gone back to track. But I want to finish this. These twisted games I hear they are a sequel. Not a, not a sequel. There's I think twisted hate, twisted love, twisted something. Um, so But they're not connected. They're actually Google. You can actually read one and you'll still be able to read the other ones. Um, that's what Google says. I'm not sure. So I want to order the rest of the those other ones, but I'm not sure if they're my type of book, especially this twisted. Okay, I don't know. Let me just read. Let me just read honestly. So I want to start on this one after my show. Um, what else? Um, I just wanted to remind you guys that um about emos properties and the amazing deals that they have they're actually doing a madlindi trip on the 27th of april guys so this is the time to book um your tickets the earlier you book the cheaper it, it is um to go to madlindi and back again they usually provide you with um breakfast lunch you go to the beach i think i had shown you either my my video before the dubai one i think is the one that we went or the other one that, that we went to Malindi you can see how the property looks like um, in case you need to make a decision before booking with them I will actually link that video in the description box down below for you guys so that you can make reference to it so Malindi properties are going for 170 to oh, they're going for 190 it depends on the payment plan if you pay instant cash it's 150 if you pay within three months it's 170 if you pay within six months it's 190 and that's for an eighth uh, so so the price are inclusive of legal transfer and title deed processing they usually process their title very fast within a month you should be having your title and it also includes one hour flight from nairobi uh, 45 minutes drive from Malindi International Airport to the property. Last time we had very comfortable cars. And then um, it has <coughs> <coughs> the beacons have already been uh, installed and stuff. So it, they don't have Malindi property alone. I think you guys have been here so long. You know all the properties that they currently have. They have Naivasha. I don't have their Naivasha property. They have Matu, they have Kikuyu. Um, so I will attach a number here. I'll write a number here. You can call them and you can inquire. Um, you can ask them all the questions that you want. You can ask for them other title. You go do your search, by the way. Always get your lawyers involved, guys. Get your lawyers involved when you're doing land transactions. 
especially in this country that we live in please get your lawyers involved don't do any kind of investment blindly guys i always emphasize on that but this is one um company that i highly highly recommend they're genuine you will definitely have your titles i think i have logged like three or four times going for title issuance ceremonies they usually hold a title issuance ceremony where even future investors can go and see for themselves um other people's getting titles and you'll see people getting their title deeds you guaranteed you'll get your title deed guys so yeah i wanted to mention that so let me hop into the shower let me first eat this shower and then go edit this video mm. and then that's all i'm left with so I'll catch up with you guys later. See you. I'll catch up with you guys in my next vlog. It's <laughs> the dip that I was eating. The Doritos mild salsa. They have it in hot chili, uh, mild and I think medium. So this is what I was eating with the nachos. Love it so much. You can find it at Kafo. So yeah.